A man named John transformed from a homeless wanderer to a wealthy musician against all odds. This is a story of resilience, rediscovery, and the power of music to bridge the gap between a forgotten past and a promising future. What challenges and victories shaped his journey? How did he navigate the complexities of life on the streets to achieve such remarkable success? What role did music play in transforming not only his circumstances, but also his identity? Beginning of John's Journey John's journey began in a hospital bed with no memory of his identity or the tragic accident that had left him with amnesia. He woke up not knowing who he was or what happened to him. The doctors thought he might remember with time, but that didn't happen. When they let him leave the hospital, he ended up at a busy bus station, feeling lost and not sure where to go. The doctors hoped time would help John remember his past, but life had different plans for him. The outside world seemed like a puzzle. John stood at the bus station, watching people come and go, but none of them could tell him about his own life. The city streets became his maze, and every step felt like a guessing game. Buildings and streets looked unfamiliar, and the crowds made him feel like a stranger in his own story. Once, he had a clear sense of who he was, but now he was like a ship without a map, trying to find his way. Ray's Sheltering Light it was at this crossroads that he met Ray, a kind soul who offered John not only a place to sleep, but made him feel like he belonged with a group of other homeless people. The feeling of togetherness and friendship helped John as he faced the difficulties of his new life. But there was always one thing bothering him, and that was the mystery of his forgotten past. In Ray, John found more than a helping hand. He found someone who saw beyond his homelessness, treating him with kindness and respect. The challenges of life on the streets were still there, but they felt a bit easier to handle with Ray around. The days turned into a routine, with Ray showing him how to survive and find the basics he needed. It wasn't the life John had known before, but it became a life that had its own sense of purpose and connection. Yet, even with this newfound sense of community, a question lingered in John's mind like a puzzle piece he couldn't find. What was his life before the amnesia? He had a place to sleep and friends who cared, but there was a void, a gap in his memories that he longed to fill. John's Melodic Transformation During John's tough times, a song played in his head, a comforting melody that he sang every night at the place where homeless people gathered. It became like a friend, a source of peace for him. One day, while looking for food with Ray, something unexpected happened. They stumbled upon a place where music was playing loudly. He stopped to listen, and soon enough, he was singing along. The lyrics of the songs came from his memory, and for the first time, he was excited to remember something from his past. From that day forward, John visited the same place regularly to listen to music. He didn't always know the lyrics, but he started to learn many songs. It became a way for him to entertain his friends at the shelter. One day, a friend suggested something new, that he could start singing to make some money. Everyone agreed, and that was the beginning of a change. For some reason, John found out he could play the guitar. He saved up the money he earned from singing and bought one. Now, John the singer has become quite popular. He sat on sidewalks with a cardboard sign around his neck that said, Make your song request and I'll grant your wishes for a dollar. Every bit of money he had went back to the shelter, showing his gratitude for the community that had become his second family. The Unforgettable Wedding of John in May While John was weaving his melodies on one side of the country, Another story was unfolding. Ryan and May, a couple deeply in love, were getting ready for their dream wedding. They had planned everything carefully from the perfect outfits to a destination setting. It was a day they had been waiting for, a fairy tale about to come true. However, fate had a different plan. Just when everything seemed set, a problem popped up. The band they hired for the wedding couldn't make it on time due to a delayed flight. May, the bride, felt her dream wedding slipping away. She had pictured her dad walking her down the aisle, but her dad wasn't there. Her brother tried to help by offering to take their dad's role, but it wasn't the same. With only two days left before the big day, Ryan and May received the news about the band's flight delay. It was a shock, and May couldn't believe her perfect day was falling apart. Ideas were tossed around, like getting a DJ or playing a playlist from their phones, but nothing seemed right. The thought of a wedding without live music brought May to tears but she agreed to the playlist idea as there seemed to be no other choice. That night, 
As Ryan and his friends headed to town for the Bachelor's Eve, something unexpected happened. They heard a homeless man singing to a group of people. His voice was so beautiful that it caught Ryan's attention. He walked up to the man, gave him a dollar, and asked him if he could sing a wedding song. The man agreed, and his voice filled the air with a magical quality. Ryan, inspired by this unexpected encounter, had an idea. He asked the homeless singer, whose name was John, if he would sing at the real wedding the next day. John agreed, and the groomsmen decided to pick him up from his usual spot. May knew Ryan had a surprise for her, but she had no idea what it was. When it was time for their first dance, she saw a man with a guitar go on stage. May and some guests were puzzled and a bit shocked, wondering who this shabbily dressed man was. Before May could get upset, John started singing, and his voice was incredible. May kept asking Ryan where he found him, but he just told her to enjoy their wedding party. John sang the first song, and people wanted more. The first song that came to his mind was the one he always sang at the shelter. When he took the microphone and started singing, May suddenly stopped dancing. She looked at the homeless man closely and said, Dad. Her dad created that song just for her. They used to sing it a lot when she was younger. People at the wedding were puzzled, but she came closer and her eyes sparked with recognition. She hurried to hug him, tears streaming down her face. Her mother and brother joined her on stage to confirm what she had said. When they found out it was true, they also hugged him. John, or as they now knew, Jake, used to be in a band. The band did pretty well and got invited to play at various events. In the year he went missing, they were all set for their biggest show in a different state. The excitement was high as they planned their trip. To save money, they chose to drive. Unfortunately, during the journey, a car crash occurred and everyone believed they hadn't survived. John was astonished to find out he still had a family. It took a while, but slowly his memories started to come back, like pieces of a puzzle falling into place. He kept the name John, but he also kept in touch with his friends at the shelter. He visited them regularly, showing gratitude with gifts and food. John continued doing what he loved best, performing at various events. Alongside, he started building new memories with his daughter and the rest of his family. This unexpected turn of events not only saved the wedding, but also brought an unexpected family reunion. John, the homeless singer, turned out to be Jake, the missing dad and band member. The magical encounter at the Bachelor's Eve became a turning point, not just for Ryan and May's wedding, but for Jake, who found not only his forgotten past, but also a renewed connection with his family. Share your thoughts on this remarkable tale in the comments below, and remember to subscribe for more inspiring stories. Until next time, stay tuned for more captivating narratives. Take care!